In today's coaster review, I will be giving my thoughts and overall opinion on the very first Giga Coaster, and that is Millennium Force, located at Cedar Point in Sandusky, Ohio. This roller coaster has a max height of 310 feet, a drop of 300 feet, a max speed of 93 miles an hour, a max angle of descent of 80 degrees, and a total track length of 6,595 feet. So it does have some really impressive stats, especially considering the time it was built back in 2000. It's pretty amazing what Intamin did with this coaster. And before I start, I just want to say that this is personally my second favorite coaster, my first being Steel Vengeance. And the reason why I do prefer this over Maverick is because I have so many great memories on Millennium Force and I have ridden it a lot more than Maverick. Last year I got to ride it six times and this year I got to ride it seven times. So I have had a lot more experience with Millennium Force. Also another reason why I love Millennium Force so much is because going in I thought the Millennium Force was just going to be okay because everybody said that it was overrated and it wasn't that good. But my expectations were blown away and I thought that this was just a great roller coaster. So with that out of the way, let's get right into the ride experience. So you're going to go up a cable lift, which I really liked because it's really fast and much more quiet than the traditional chain lift. And if you look to your left as you're going up the cable lift, you can get a beautiful view of Lake Erie and it just looks really nice. But once you go to the top, you'll crest over where you'll get an even better view of of Lake Erie. An interesting fact, if you look over and it's a clear day, you can actually see Canada on the other side. Then you're going to go into the steep 80 degree drop, followed by a very large overbank turn. After that, you're going to go into a left bank turn, into a really cool tunnel, and after that, you're going to go into a massive airtime hill where you do get some pretty good airtime, especially since the lap bar is pretty small. Then you're going to go into the largest overbank turn, which isn't as good as the last one or the next one because it isn't as steep as the other ones. Then you're going to go into another overbank turn, and this one's much better because it's not as wide and much steeper too. After that, you'll go into a turn followed by an airtime hill where you do get airtime again. Then you're going to go into the second tunnel where you'll bank left and go straight into a very good ejector airtime hill. After that, you're going to go into the last element, an overbank turn. Then you're going to slam into the brake run, finishing your ride experience on Millennium Force. Overall, Millennium Force is a great coaster. Like I said earlier, it's one of my favorites, and I don't really have anything bad to say about this coaster, other than the fact that it does have a bit of a rattle throughout the ride, but it does make sense because this roller coaster is 18 years old, so it's pretty amazing how well it's held up over all those years. And also another complaint I've gotten is that people do say that this is a very forceless roller coaster, but in my opinion, I didn't find this to be a forceless ride at all. I grayed out, believe it or not, every time I rode this coaster. And also one last thing I like about Millennium Force that makes it stand out is that if you ride this coaster at night, especially in the front row, you will get covered with dozens of bugs. And that's what I really like too about Millennium Force that makes it stand out, is that since you're right up against Lake Erie, there's a lot of bugs there at night, and it just really makes it a unique experience. So for its overall score, I'm going to be giving Millennium Force a perfect 10 out of 10. And that will be the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this coaster review. Comment down below on what your thoughts of Millennium Force are, and I'll catch you guys next time here at Coaster Nate.